Yo, what's up, fellas? Been a while with this whole lockdown madness and everything going on. I had some other shit to attend. I had to step away for a bit, but I'm back. And uh, so here's something that uh, that came up in a group I'm in, and it's about you know this guy. He's dating, and he's dating this girl, and she turned. Like super disrespectful and <clears throat> just disrespectful, non-compliant, combative, distant, uh, you know, just wanting to see him less and less. And his question was, is about how does he, like, what does he do? Now he's all in a panic. Like, I'm confused. Uh, in the beginning, everything was so hot and heavy. And I'm not sure what's going on here. And she's telling me it's because I'm too distant and I'm trying to get closer and you know the rest. So he's starting to try and try and try. What's happening is he's developed one itis where, you know, he's made this girl his, the focus of his life and he's developed this sense of inferiority towards this woman and he's essentially pedestalized her. And now, in the beginning where she saw him as a challenge and, you know, she had to work to earn his attention. And, you know, he viewed himself as high value, a higher value. And, like, he was the, the prize. He was the, uh, you know, for lack of better terms, he had the upper hand. And so now the tables have kind of turned. And, you know, what you'll notice with these situations is over time, the guy becomes more and more compliant, more and more available, um, just more agreeable, less about himself. And what's happening is there's a slow shift into her frame. And then it gets to a point where, and it happens real subtly. And it's happened, it's happened to me, you know, a long time ago, it happened to me. And this is how I know it's happening. You know, and the stuff I tell you here and the things I say is the things that I've experienced, the things I've gone through, the things I've realized and the corrections that have been made and the realizations or whatever. And I've also been on the other end of this to where, you know, A, the best course of action is don't allow this to happen. You know, you keep that upper hand. When you meet a woman like that with high interest, she wants to keep that. She wants that. She wants it to be like that. She wants to to stay uh, in her position in the relationship, but she's looking up to you. She sees you as the high value, the leader, you know, and naturally as men, what we start to do is we begin to let our guards down. We start thinking, oh, she's, you know, we click. The sex is phenomenal. Uh, you know, she's very agreeable and so how we reward that is security, time, attention. Um, we start thinking more along the lines of, well, you know, we'll, we'll say, and, and she'll start seeing the subtle shift and the little tests that we'll begin. And so it'll be something as simple as a choice to go eat somewhere. She'll protest a little bit. You give in. And it, and it seems harmless at the moment. It does. And, you know, you can be flexible. And sometimes it is harmless. But then if there's a repeated pattern of that behavior where she's trying to take control, take the upper hand, and you start to give in more often than not, and you become more compliant, more available, and it, it, it's that subtle shift to where now, you know, you're doing all the, like, now she's pedestalized, and, and now you're doing most of the work, and she doesn't, that's not what they like, she doesn't respect that, and what's going to happen is she's going to start losing attraction, and in her mind, she's thinking, Jesus, why don't the, why doesn't he stand up for himself, and you start displaying some really unattractive behavior, then you start looking for validation, because she used to give it so freely and so easily when she earned your attention now that has flipped that's a power flip 
and it happens so subtly, so easily, especially when you're not paying attention. So, and then look, it can happen to any guy, it, any guy who really doesn't know what to look for and looking for that dynamic, that shift in the dy dynamic. And so anyway, yeah, that happens. And now she's kind of looking down on you. She begins to lose respect. She begins to lose attraction. And so you're listening. You're trying to be cerebral and logical about this and start listening to what she's saying. And she starts saying shit Well, you're distant. You're not as present. You're not doing this. You're not. So in your mind, you know, if it were two men talking about shit that they would, had come, that they had arrived to an impasse or a disagreement about, you can logically work that shit out and say, yeah, okay, well, this is what I'm doing and I'm expecting this, to see this from you. And then you counter, you go back and forth, you take the action to resolve the problem and you, you move toward a solution. That's not what's going on. She's, lo she's lost attraction and she's losing respect. So she's pulling away, she's becoming bitchy, she's becoming distant and combative because of how you're showing up. And in her eyes, it looks weak. If you're pedestalizing her, if you're looking up to her, if you're you know, so available, so accommodating, so compliant, you're beginning to supplicate. You, know, you stop saying the shit you used to say and doing the shit you used to do. You've kind of, the, the frame has shifted where you're in her frame now they do not like that and most often times they don't even realize that that's what's happened and so she's thinking too like what happened here why have i dried up for this guy why do i why does he get on my nerves all of a sudden and you know she's trying to think through this shit too and it's not uh, a logical problem so it's not a logical solution it, it's emotional it's biological the only thing you could do at this point is remove your attention that's the only thing you can do to show some self-respect some dignity some value and then in hopes to reignite the attraction because that behavior over a period of time if unchecked as if she's either going to lose total respect and attraction for you and you know she's going to be disgusted with you and there's going to be no salvaging anything or you know, somebody else is going to catch her eye. That gives her the tingles, and she will be off of them. You know, and somebody that will put her in her place, that will stand up for himself, that will make himself a priority, because that is what they want. There's a balance, and they expect you to know this shit. And, and then, you know, you really should. You really should, like, you should be... You, you should be the priority. Your happiness and well-being and her happiness and well-being, the more fulfilled, happy, well-adjusted, you know, whatever, all these boxes you have to check as a be a well-rounded man, centered, the better off she's going to be. She feeds off of your energy. You bring, you lead the relationship. You bring the energy. You bring, just like when she's in an emotional turmoil, you're the rock. You stay calm. You bring her into your energy, and she calms down. If she's in emotional turmoil and you jump in that shit with her, what do you think is going to happen? It gets worse. So, with that being said, you remaining in that position, that person, the guy, that man in the relationship, and uh, when you lose focus of that and you start thinking along the lines of, what can I do to please her? And it's not even like it, it can start out as an innocent, like a genuine want to give, to reward, to provide. You know, a, from it can come from a really masculine place and uh, from the standpoint of being a provider and comforter and stuff like that. But nonetheless, it always turns out to be thirst. It turns out to be... It ends up in a scarcity mindset, which wreaks havoc. Because then now, you, now, it's no longer coming from a place of uh, reward her 
because she's been supportive and a good partner, you know, or, you know, taking your interest in heart and, uh, and it comes from a place of, oh shit, I'm going to lose her. What do I have to do? And that's our first instinct is to start taking action. And we start taking, thinking logically, like, what can we do next? What is the next thing I can do, do, do? And it's not a logical, the, it's not a logical situation. It is, it's all emotional and biological. At this point, you got to pull back. You got to walk away. That is the only way, if you're interested, is to regain that attraction and that respect, is to gain self-respect and, you know, be able to step back, separate yourself from that and, you know, rethink shit, get your mind right and get your affairs back in order to where you're the priority, you're doing what you have to do first and now your attention is valuable again and she gets that attention based on how she shows up. We don't give our attention away freely. That's that's the main thing that a woman wants from a man, especially in a relationship, is their attention. They want that male, that non-sexual attention. We want the sex. You know, it's it's an exchange. You know, we want the real desire. We want true desire and sex. And if you give the attention away freely. There's nothing that has to be done on her end. And then when you are giving that attention away freely and seeking validation, that put yourself, you put yourself in that, that's low, uh, low value, very low value. So anyway, my take on that, I'm going to cut it short here. Like, comment, subscribe if you have any uh, other topics you're interested in hearing in, please drop in the comments. Talk to y'all later.